Hey everyone. Now I know I said we'd be at the forge, but I thought, look, there's a codex here which are in front of, and I'm thinking, look, it's it, it's it's a nuisance. Just it's kind of a waste of time. Just you lot watching me just climb back up the tower and everything. It's just easier for a start here. Then I get out of here and directly fast travel to the forge. It's just simpler, so... And that's exactly... I had to clear a couple of enemies out, so... Anyway, let's get started. We're at Mestor, by the way. Just in case anyone's wondering. Fortified Dorma of Mestor. Mestor's music as well. That's appropriate. Personal log. Reports among the, mer the merchant vessels have come in from our sister ro two sister realms. It is grim. Persephone and Hades have both created contact, both ceased contact. I'm oh, not surprised there. It won't be long before the laws of my xenophobic father force Atlantis into into utter irrelevance. Someone must do something. <laughs> oh. Wait. Is that by xenophobic father he referring to Poseidon? Ow. Oh. Things are bleak then. Uh, what's the best way? Actually, let's just go out this way. I can't fast travel line enemy zone, so if I can, I'll just just go. Well, I've got a second or two. Oh, perfect. Lovely, 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 lovely. So let's head straight down there. So I have to remember we've done Pository of Ir Yeah, because we're at the Garden Triton here. Iris. So Hebe or Hebe will be the one next, but <clears throat> now we'll head to the Forge of Atlantis. And create the legendary weapons. <laughs> Now, I have actually been considering... Honestly, I'd love to have a legendary bow, but when I discovered it, I didn't find a casing for a bow, which is a real shame. There looked to be like a heavy weapon, and I think there was a sword, and I'm not entirely sure what the other one was. I think it might have been a spear, or could have been a staff even. Mind you, we got a staff already, so it makes sense to get a spear. But in all honesty, I trade a spear for a bow. You know, I, I don't mind having the either sword or dual blades, heavy blunt weapon or whatever. But I, yeah, just find the look a little amazing. Now there was something. Where was it? <laughs> so I, I want to show you that before start this off, if I can get a. Assuming it's semi obvious, it probably. Damn it, where the hell is it? Oh, great. Where is it? Uh, we'll find it. We'll find it after we're done with. Uh, we'll find it after we're gone here. It's really, really cool. But in just a moment, I'll actually have to activate the mission. <laughs> so, Framid's water. Ah, here he is. Here, here is it. Here it is. Gone. I think this place looks amazing. I really, really do. In fact, hold on, let. I mean, just. Look at this place. I mean, I know it looks just, you know, okay, yeah, that's easy structure, but I feel mean, like just take a, a moment to consider the grandeur of the place. It, it's pretty incredible. At least I think so. Wow. <laughs> All right then. Actually, we do have. I. I should have to double check how many ingots we've got. I assume we have nine. Oh, we do. And a raw adamant. I assume that's like a quest item. All 
right then. <clears throat> so what are we? Ch what are the choices here? I'm going to assume that's a spear. That looks like a heavy. That looks. Oh. Actually, that's either a heavy blunt or a staff. And that looks. That's a sword. Okay. If that's a spear or a staff, we've got one. I'm curious. I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Access granted. Initiating forge protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Gotcha. Here we are. I'm hoping this is heavy blunt. So now I've had to think about this. I've got an assassin bill which works fairly well. I said last time, last part. I'm not a big fan of the hunter style. We've got it if we need it. It's you know when everything comes down to it, the hunt, the warrior style gets us out of everything, unless you're going for a long range. Oh, excuse me. So, and frankly, we don't like the staff of the De Decastes. Decastes is warrior. We don't have many staffs or spears that are particularly. They've all been bloody hunter based or assassin based. I'd love to have a bunch of warrior ones. So I think with all these weapons, I'll just do warrior because it, it makes sense. I wish there was a bow here. Anyway, I think this is possibly a heavy weapon, so we're going to go warrior. Oh, she just throws them on there. <laughs> Adaptation authorized. Engaging in warrior customization. Wow. Okay. Nice! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, you're joking. What? Oh, this is so cool. Basically, d assassin, attack damage, and... <laughs> and arrows affect people in range? That is really cool. I'm not a big fan of the colour though, I must admit that. Just have a look. What the hell is it? Wow. <laughs> Nearby enemies, melee attack apply. Oh, wow. Colossal is an understatement, using untold Atlantean technology, untold, this may disrupt anything it hits, rupturing the bonds between the very atoms of its targets. If that perk is as much a perk as the breathe on the water on any item, if that literally applies in general, oh, we're going to have fun. Not a big fan of a colour. Can we do anything about that? Oh, okay. My favourite colour is blue, so... Uh, that looks okay. R even though the guy's colour is red, but... Eh. That's... I'm gonna rock that. I like that. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. That's a really cool we weapon. Oh, I see. So we can only shoot. Ah, okay. That's all right, then. I'm down with that. I'm really curious about both of these. So, let's do this one. Access granted. Initiating forge protocol. Preferred weapon configuration. Well, it looks like a sword or dual blades. There's, <laughs> it has 
to be warrior. I mean, I could do assassin, but like, if this is as awesome a blade as it could potentially be, has got to be warrior. I'm sorry. We've got enough skills and bonuses with the, ass the assassin build for stealth. <laughs> we've got, we've got. The, the way I see it is, we've got abilities. You know, Fury of the Bloodline, Hero Strike, Rush Assassination, which I should actually be using a lot more, admittedly. Uh, Ares Madness, when it comes down to it. We've got the upgraded Ring of Chaos, you know, all perfectly suited to the Assassin build, when you tie them all into one. We need more, especially over, you know, overpowered, definitely Warrior Weapon. Okay. Is that now? Is that a single sword? Is that jewels? Blades reduces cooldown time, ten percent all hunter kill abilities. Assassin. Okay. Wow. Warrior kills. <laughs> okay. So what exactly are we rocking here? That's what I'm curious about. Right. What's it? Oh wow. <laughs> Juices all cooldowns so by 10% on warrior killer ability kill. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, plus it has the dagger damage. As much, oh, that's, we do need a lot of adrenaline. Oh, you know what, I'll, I'll try this out for a, few, uh, for a few missions. I can always cycle between them. I'm not so worried about the flame style that I'm okay, I don't really not bother I'm not so bothered. But if I was going to engrave anything on this weapon, it would be like plus as high as I can, if I could, 50, 60, 70 percent adrenaline on hit. Because that would top this weapon off perfectly. It really, really would. I'm not a fan of the colours. That? The yellow actually, I don't mind for that. Blue is okay for a mace, that's I'm not bothered, but... Yeah, yellow. Wow. That's... That's pretty amazing. I'm gonna shoot this as spear. Access granted. Initiating the protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. Regardless of whether it's a staff or spear, has to be warrior. No point doing assassin, warrior all the way. A fast a fast horse is apprentice. A fast horse is apprentice. Ah. Adaptation authorized. Engaging in warrior customization. Oh, this must be a spear. Oh, okay. So what perks are we in with this? Spear? Makes sense. What? C you're joking. Convert 50% warrior damage big bonus to all damage? What? Seriously? Wow! That is significant overkill. <coughs> oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Spears? That makes sense. Convert 50% warrior damage bonuses to all damage. So I'm assuming that means 
that to any other separate damage we do, that converts half of that, so that's... So if I'm reading this right, that was Spears Warrior, so that would be for Warrior, that would overkill it to what? 75% Warrior damage? Potentially plus 80% 80% warrior damage with the spears? <laughs> what? Assuming I'm reading that right, as, as, uh, I highlight assuming. Wow. I'm gonna have to test some of these out, man. I'm gonna have to test them out. That's gonna be actually quite interesting. Oh. <laughs> okay, wow. But I'm going to do that. I want to apply the uh, the engraving of. I'm going to see how much adrenaline perk, how high adrenaline perk we can attach to the uh, twin blades. I really do want to do that because I reckon that's what would top this this weapon off, honestly. So. God, let me have a look for a second. Twit. Oh, per crit. Whoops. I'm looking for hit. So, this should be... I've seen like 30, 40%. Where the hell are they all? Oh, great. Where the hell is it? There's damage, warrior, chaos, multi-shot. What the hell? Breathe on the water. I'm penetra- What the- Only 10%? You're serious? Wow! That- I'm surprised at. Just check this. Try and do it carefully. So I thought there was, you know, like 30, 40%. Wow. Lies. <laughs> oh. I was at torches, Malie. Six percent, that's not that good. Well, I'll do it for ten percent crit because it's not the best, but well, oh, but I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I want to see, I want to, I want to see how much damage it does. I really, I, I'm really interested. I have to alternate between these. This is going to be interesting. You know, it, 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 and I mean this seriously. Like, see the spear we, it spear the staff we got at the beginning of the this third episode. I would happily trade, in my opinion, I'd happily trade the spear for a legend for the ultimate bow. I would, because. There would be a significant extra perk with it. I mean, I get this massive overstar with extra weapons, but you can't. It's either that, especially with playstyle. That I mean, I'm more the sword or that and the spear, not spear and a mace. That's not the style I go for. So I'm a little surprised at that. We got something quite different there. At least that's how I feel. <clears throat> I mean, I get it for overkill, like, you have your choices with, you know, a lot of people like to mix and match it with, <coughs> excuse me, fantastic stuff. Oh, we get the ultimate spear, or we, oh, now we get the ultimate mace, and, you know, daggers. But where the hell's the ultimate hunter bow? I get a lot of really, really good ones, but I trade that a harp. I trade the spear and a harpy for something decent like that. 
I really would. Where is this place? I'm gonna try and find it because it's a really, really cool place. I uh, found. Is it? Oh, I think it's. Is it? You don't have to be on the water, but. More price to pay? Oh, hang on. F oh, hang on. I found it. I found it. I found it. Alright, we're just passing through. It's a. I'm sure it's in here. It is. This is the other place I wanted to show you. I think this looks amazing. Look at this. I, I genuinely think this looks amazing. Wow. <laughs> I love the look of, I love the look of this room. Tell you what, that with that with the art pretty awesome. I, I, I really think so. That's like a basically a uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, temple to Poseidonus. I think the right damn word. Couldn't get temple in my mind. I was thinking palace. A statue tribute, not quite though. Right, let's continue on with these. So, God Dieros. Done a few of these already, so. Go to the Archive of Hebi. Probably badly butchering these, but... <laughs> oh well. Oh, I've not been to Gardiros. I'm just checking... I've written down the names of some places that I've been to. I don't want to repeat them because I mean, what's the point? <laughs> I know not all this. I know not all of them in the right order, but I doubt you get them correct in the right order. You know, and I'm still going to keep an eye out for those towers which are supposed to have two of them. Still haven't found them yet. I know I've seen them around here. Unless I'm literally drawing that much of a mental blank. Let me just use this for a second. Fly down. Nope, that's not what that is. That's okay. Just checking. Alright. Now she's not in the right place still. I mean, look, what, look, what, what I'll probably do after I finish recording is, you know, I'm gonna go and take some photos just the photo mode just for my personal liking and I'll actually go and search out where the rest of those codexes are that I know I've seen but just can't find no oh, it, oh it's practically right under us <laughs> I don't know why I went over the anyway <laughs> I better go over the shorter one there Sun's rising. Yep, that's fine. Maybe of Hebi. It could be Hebi, but I'm just gonna pronounce it. Right. Should I just be obvious? Maybe that's the best thing. Because that guards are still down, so Maybe that's the best way to do it. Oh no, that's where this is. 
I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being only extra loose along the way. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Quick, 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 quick! <laughs> what? You're kidding! I've got the base equipped. That's plus the abilities. Oh, insta kill. Oh, wow. I was expecting I was expecting to have to take out if you're in the bloodline. Oh, that is awesome. That is truly OP. Truly overpowered. Oh, I love it. So these those lasers. I discovered here the laces have been used for discs and everything. I mean hell, why not collect the extra loot over here? <laughs> <coughs> Encrypted message from Farnes or Farnes 104. Hybrid DNA detected. If you're reading this it means that I've been dead for several years. But if you are reading this, you should know we succeed in creating a miracle. And that miracle, my precious one, is you. Oh. You must have many questions. I wish I could answer them, unfortunately. By abandoning Project Anth Anthropos, I lost access to our technology. Specifically, the blueprints of our lost work done by the scientist Oh wow, okay. Knowingly, I knowingly gave up any chance of consciousness preservation and it was the best decision I've ever made. Your existence is evidence of this. Oh wow. Okay. I still hope... I, 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 I know I keep on saying this throughout these parts I do, but... I still want I still want an explanation to the Minoans. They were in Elysium, but obviously have a connection to the Isu. I still haven't seen any evidence linking them or connecting them. I really would like an answer to that. happened there? Ooh, that's glowing! Oh, that's cool! I bet she has like a defense mechanism? It probably is, you know. Wow. Okay. I'm down. I'm down with that. Is there any more? I'm just double checking the room before. Yes, and collecting. Yes, yes. Confessions. Confessed. I think loop on. Just checking there's nothing else around here, you know? No harm in it. Oh, nice. It's an order for a change. Uh, fun is 204. <coughs> we exist, but I must be brief. They can trace my brain signatures. Concentrating for ex for extended periods of time alerts them to my location. My name is irrelevant, but you can call me Fane. Fanez? F Fanez. Oh, how you pronounce it? I was the first scientist to, to successfully create a human being. Oh, okay. The other Isu have already wiped my name from the records. Our aim was to create a species of in our own image. They were to be resilient, self-aware, and ultimately, uh, subservient. I had succeeded on all fronts except subs subservience. I assume that means to be, you know, I had to serve or just be manipulated, manipul- or to be, you know, manipulable, <laughs> that's even a word. <laughs> The authority, the Isu authority in Eden, the city from which I come, threatened to, deter bleh, threatened to terminate the project and destroy the lives we created. I could not let this happen. Footsteps approach. I must hide. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> they actually came from the city, I'm assuming it's the city of Eden. 
Okay. Wow. Learning more and more about the history of the Isu. Very intriguing. Right. The plot thickens with all these documents. We're learning that we're by no means a perfect species. Mind you, I suppose with all that technology, something has to something has to come to a head eventually. What do you think about it? I mean. I know you're auto-saving, yes I appreciate that, I'm going to do my own save, just to be 100% sure. Don't save your damn thing. <laughs> okay. Doma of Gadiros. Of Gadiros? It could be Gadiros or Gadiros. Gadiros. Gotta be literal about it. Let's get up there. I wonder how much attention we're going to attract to ourselves. I honestly wonder. Shouldn't be too much, I wouldn't imagine. Well, I say that. I say that will attract half the goddamn Suabi. <laughs> now, who else is here? It, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm sure there was one here. Yep, that trap's reset. That's fine. Oh! Quick, quick! Oh! That's awesome! With those things. Beautiful! Alright, I'll read through this before we have any problems. Oh, oh actually, that's helpful to run the other side. <laughs> Musings are on Gadios. Isu General? Okay. Any. In the opulence of this doma, how dear Archon Gadiros learned a new way to skin a human, so to speak. Oh, charming. The weak do not need to fear... The weak do not need to fear to be obedient. Or alone, or alone would do. And who better than Gadiros to deliver? Wow. So it's kind of like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a monument and a, pra and a praising, not like a, a, sort of like a written monument, someone? Wow. Okay. We've got a few more to go through, don't we? Because we've done that, did we do that one? Right, wasn't it? Oh no, it wasn't. Fastos, I'm pretty sure we've done that one, haven't we? Yes, we have. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Doma uh, Preparis, got that one done. Okay, no worries. Tiana Archive, oh, it's that way it was. Uh, that might answer a few things. Doma of Eviamon. Iviamon? <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying that like I'm talking about a Digimon. <laughs> oh, that's that literally. Oh, not Iviamon. Iveimon. Iveimon, that's what's good. I don't know how I said Iviamon. I've just seen the I in there and I've just clicked it in front of the A. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, great. <laughs> Wonderful. Prepare, uh, prepare, oh god. <laughs> oh, we need to get out, wait, oh yeah, we need to get out of here, don't we, at some point. Jump over it, thank you. Good. I'm glad I wrote it down, because I, I didn't actually remember where most of these things were, so we've got those. Alright, so heading off here and we'll head to the Tania Archive. Or Tanaya, I kind of like yeah. Probably just literal Tanaya. <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of these has like four or even five codexes in them. So. I think I, I like how these uh, codexes, uh, sorry, the archives are laid out, you know? It's confined but elaborate. I like quite a lot. I mean, all the stones and building blocks look the same, but it's got a good amount of splendor to it. Maybe I just appreciate Isu architecture. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Oops, all the way down. Oh, it's all the way down there. Of course it is. I don't want to be spotted here. Yeah, no kidding. Had the jewel, I think. How many? Oh, there's plenty of them, isn't there? Okay. Beautiful. Crouch your way around. Use this way. Oh, that's right, just the box in here. Okay. No worries. Ooh, can we collect from this? Might as well. I could do with a hell of a lot more obsidian glass, because you need that to upgrade things. That's all well and good having your basic materials, but well, the rest of the stuff is pretty useless. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, oh. Oh, it's just the two then. Well, maybe there's more. <laughs> we'll soon see. Persephone on the Great Decastes. Another day in paradise. No blade of grass out of place. No flower petal off shade. Not a single cloud in sight. Most important. Most importantly. Not a trace of my husband. I could almost forget I'm trapped. I'm gilded each... I've gilded each bar of my cage and filled it with only the most worthy of souls. Except... That one. Is it an intruder? Not an Elysium. You don't belong here. Oh, is that... Is she referring to us? Uh, Cassandra, I mean. Maybe she is. Oh, that's she's referring to one of the people we met in Elysium. That is entirely possible. Pretty empty. I mean, empty is in lack of rooms. That's okay. Happy with that. Okay, just the two. Hades on the Great Decastus. Ross? Can't be dead. That dog was the last thing my queen and I truly shared. Oh, Ross. You're most loyal to her, but 
I loved you too. How dare they keep a valid human life over yours. But I have no time to mourn. It's time to face your killer. And I'll be hanged if she sees me cry. Wow, they are talking about Cassandra. So, they... We will... So, Cassandra... Okay, so where are we... Where am I saying this? Cassandra was already pronounced a Decastus before she even got to to uh, Atlantis. She was already, you know, bore the title of Decastus before she even got there. Like Hades and Persephone were calling her, or at least Hades was. I believe even Persephone was calling Cassandra that. Wow. So we, so our destiny, at least in, as Cassandra, has been to become a Decastus. Wow, that's quite, well, it's probably just one version, but it's certainly a very, very, that, very compelling version. Yeah, because we went up, yeah, out there, didn't we? Or was it the horse one that for them? Elasipos? Last spot, yeah, we've got that one. Okay. Duma o Avi of E Vaimon. Of A Vaimon. Vaim E Vaimon? What's the say? E Vaimon. But E Vaimon or something less. I'm not exactly sure about that. Oh, going the right, yep, that definitely helps. Get up there. You can't climb every surface in Atlantis, it's just not possible. You can climb a lot of them. Oh, jeez, that's close. <laughs> wow! That was good. Half turned into full critical? <laughs> that is awesome. Rush assassination all the way. Oh, that is beautiful. Ooh. I'm hesitant to read that while. Go on, let's give it a go. Boosting's on Evae. Eve. Historian of nobility. Mounted upon Evaemon's wall was the head of a beast in mid bowl. In mid howl, sorry. He called it a wolf. Though it seemed. Though I'd seen nothing like it. A new creature, perhaps? Wait, so that's. An Isu wolf? Yeah, that must be what those things are. They're well, Isu bred wolves. Wow! Oh! Okay! Well, at least that's answered. I I'm assuming that's what that's referring to. If that is, that would explain one thing, but why a wolf? That is, like if it was representing a lion. That itself would make a lot of sense, but yeah, it just seems a little strange to me. Okay, so let me just double check something. Should have time to get to the last one. 
So quickly do the Horus repository, I believe that one was called, or repository of Horus, and we'll end it there. So I definitely, after I've ended this part tonight, I'm going to go through and try and map out where the where the rest of the where the rest of the codex is. I know I've seen others at different locations. I'm going to try and find them. So I'm determined to find them. I know I've seen others, so. And I'll try and f figure out where, if I can find an entrance to that hidden codex. Yeah. Oh, it's just... Oh, perfect! Right in front. Horus Repository. Okay. The watch will be vigilant here. Yeah, no kidding. If we could see, it would be a great start, wouldn't it? Oh, this is that elaborate place. Ah. Actually, let's take a different way into... Oh, hang on. Okay. There's definitely a few here. Uh, so much of this being quick. <laughs> See how things go. Oh, wow. Okay. Pretty good. I wasn't sure what to expect there. Oh! You, don't move. Not bad. Not too bad at all. And do I take him out? That's what I can't decide. Oh. Wow! That is overpowered as hell. I love it. That's gonna save me. I should probably should have gone to that. <laughs> go <on> to <laughs> forge a lot earlier. Anyways, okay. Message from Fun is 404. We were driven from Eden hoping to find refuge in Atlantis. Despite having constantly having to constantly look over our shoulders, I never felt more alive than during my time with my love, especially when we dis discovered she was pregnant. I never I never in my wildest calculations imagined this was possible this to be possible. She had a little girl growing inside of her. She was to be named Eve. Ah, so that's that story going through the assassin's lore, okay? <laughs> we both knew the off both knew the offspring of human and Isu parents would imme would immediately be confiscated and experimented on. Our situation became even more dangerous. You were to be protected at all costs. Of all humans I helped to create, you, Eve, were the most exquisite. The most precious. To look into your eyes is to find. Death located me. I must. Okay. Oh, I have to deal with him, aren't I? Okay. Never mind getting my weapons out. Check. No, let's read this. Eta, the Great Mind. Development. Oh, read this from the bottom, aren't I? <laughs> Decastus Basilius Poseidon. 
Before I banned him from Atlantis, Aita was one of the greatest minds of the, Illu of the Illuminati cast, second only perhaps to his brilliant brother Juno. Aita was a force for good in numerous schools for scientific development, including biological research, planetary exploration, and energy efficiency, beginning his journey by helping to develop the wings of Hermes. Oh, okay. Aita ensured the security gateways made life uh, safer for all. As he worked under the School of Gonsus, Aita was pivotal in developing new and advanced medical technology still used today. However, due to his refusal to stop human experimentation, Aita was banished back to Fian. Fian. To my knowledge, his genius has produced no new revelations since. Though, if directed properly, his great mind will continue to innovate for better or for worse. Aita, I'm pretty sure, was Juno's wife. So yeah, he became the sage. So wow, he was a brilliant scientist. Huh. That's quite cool. We can learn a lot about that. Just want to see what's around here. Is this anything we need? No! Oh. oh, just a second longer, and that would have a very different story. Well, he's not paying attention to us, so I won't bother him just yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? Ah. Uh. I'll, if I keep going like this, we'll actually run out of time, so I'll end this part here. Uh, next time, we are, I will actually go through and work out where all those places are. See if we'll find out some of those mysteries. We'll finish off uh, as many, most if not all of them, and we will be continuing on with the story either by side missions or some of the main quests. So I will see you for more of the Judgment of Atlantis.